Hello everyone. In the last video, we talked about the OVR player controller and I showed you how to build and test on your Oculus Quest. Now in this video, what we're going to be doing is experimenting with grabbing objects in VR and how we're going to do that. So to keep it simple, the first thing that we want to do is create a table object that we're going to place the grabbable objects on top of. So we're going to go to create 3D and then cube. Let's just put it at zero, zero, zero. And then let's increase the scale. Maybe lift it a bit up. Move it this way. And now, as you can see, we have the table. Let's move our OVR player controller a bit back. And then Let's rename this to table. Now let's add some objects on top of our table. So let's create a, another cube. And then let's just lift it up. Let's make it smaller because it's too big to be grabbing. So let's make it 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0 0.3. And then lower it a little bit. And let's add a different material to it. And let's just add this one that we already created for the ground. And now let's create another object. Let's create a sphere this time. And let's also bring it up and make it smaller. And just drag it to the side here. And let's create a new material can just duplicate this one if you press on command D and let's call it red material and let's change the color of it to red from here let's just drag it onto the new sphere and now we have both of our objects ready and placed on top of the table. Now, the reason why I'm not putting them exactly on top is because I'm going to be adding components to them that makes them act like a physical object and have uh, gravity. And when we do that, they're just going to fall on the table by themselves. So what's needed in order to make any object grabbable in VR with the Oculus integration is first of all, you need to have a box collider or any kind of collider on the object, depending on what it is. So here you can see you have a sphere collider and that's basically the component that's going to allow it to collide with other objects and not go through them. And in this case, for example, if you look at the table, it also has a box collider. So when these objects touch each other, they're going to collide and they're not just going to go through each other. So what we want to do here is also add a rigid body component, which is going to apply all the physics effects and then let's just set this to continuous the collision detection so it's more smooth and then also here to the sphere you want to add a rigid body and select continuous and now to the part where we add the grabbable script all you want to do is just also another feature you have in unity is if you select both objects and you just click on command, you can select more than one object and edit them together. So let's add, let's select both of them and add a component called OVR grabbable. And this is what's going to allow us to grab these objects. Now, as you can see, both of them have the OVR grabbable script attached. And right now we're ready to build and then we can test it out in uh, our headset. Now that we've built our application to the headset, we can go to the table and test to see if our objects work. And as you can see, you can reach out and grab them. You can do this to any object in Unity as long as the object has three components, which are the collider, a rigid body, and the OVR grabbable script.
This is going to be very useful for interacting with objects in VR. In the next video, we're going to be talking about something called distance grabbing, which is a way to grab objects from far away. Thank you for watching.